Hello, my name is Donna Heitmanick, and I'm the administrator of the Science of Reading, What I Should Have Learned in College Facebook group. So I just wanted to share with you a post that I got anonymously, and it, it made me think about the importance of, of explaining what the science of reading is. So here's what she said. I feel so ignorant, but is there an actual program like LLI, OG, Wilson, called the Science of Reading? If so, can one get training, uh, PD certification in it? And so I thought that question was so good because I think there's a big mystery about it. So what I wanted to do was share with you um, on our Facebook page, we have a description of what the science of reading is. And there's two quotes by Dr. Seidenberg and one by Dr. Motes. So Dr. Seidenberg says, the science of reading is a, is a body of basic research in developmental psychology, educational psychology, cognitive science, cognitive neuroscience. Um, he also goes to say that the research has, been in, has important implications implications, sorry, for helping children to succeed, but it has not been incorporated in how teachers are trained for the job of how children are taught. So Dr. Seidenberg wrote this book called The Language at the Speed of Sight, and Dr. Seidenberg is, him, is himself a cognitive neuroscience, and this book helps explain how the science is related to teaching kids to read. So that's why we call it the science of reading. It's all about the science. It's all about the research that has gone into teaching, gone into learning about how the brain um, learns to read. And so if you incorporate all of those findings into your instruction, you will have better outcomes for kids. So that's one researcher. The second is Dr. Louisa Motes. She wrote this book as of many, but let me read what she says. The body of work referred to as the science of reading is not an ideology, a philosophy, a political agenda, a one-size-fits-all program, a program of instruction, nor a specific component of instruction. It's the emerging consensus from many related disciplines based on literally thousands of studies across the world in many languages. These studies have re revealed a great deal about how we learn to read, what goes wrong when, we, when students don't learn, and what kinds of instruction is most likely to work the best for students. So this book called Speech to Print, The Language Essentials for Teacher by Dr. Motes, talks about how language impacts reading. Um, if you've never seen this book before, if you've never read this book before, you will be blown away with how much there is to learn a language, you know, the language of reading. So this is a highly recommended book. It also comes in a third edition, which I don't have. The third scientist that is really one of the um, leading scientists in the world is a, is a French scientist. His name is Stanislas Dehain, I believe is how his name is pronounced. I don't speak French, so I can't tell you. Um, but it's the new science of how we read. And so this book talks about a lot about how the brain learns to read, how you understand that, and how you can how it impacts your practice. So these are three authors right here that talk about the science of reading. So what, we've, what we as educators now refer to is called the science of reading, and it basically is incorporating the research into your practice. So that's it for today. Thanks for joining me. And remember to, to like us with a thumbs up, and whether dyslexia or not, the science of reading matters a lot.